matrices are fantastic at is storing information. Let's look at a bus. Now it's a fairly small bus. It only has four rows of seats and each row has three seats. Now, if you want to record which seats occupied and which seats are vacant, you can use ones and zeros. For instance, there's a person sitting here. That's why I put a one there. And there's two vacant seats here. There's two people sitting here and a vacant seat, a vacant seat, two people sitting, a vacant and two people sitting. This looks a lot like a matrix. Right, so we use matrices a lot for this, where it's just like a simple on off occupied or vacant type scenario. And that's what we call binary information on and off. But we can also store information that isn't binary in a matrix because obviously we're not confined to just using ones and zeros. All right, so you can read that question there and you can even pause the video now and try to summarize that information in a matrix. Pause, summarize it, go. Hopefully you've come up with a table that looks like this. Aubrey has two senior teams, three junior teams. Bunbury has two seniors, four juniors. Crawford has one and two. And Derwent has three and three. Um, and then we can keep that information. You can see that's a much neater way of displaying that information than that. But not only is it a better way of displaying it, it's also a better way if we want to start performing calculations on it. We might want to add something to each of those elements. Maybe a new team enters in various categories. We might want to perform some matrix multiplication. Um, there's a lot of different things that we can do with that information now that it's stored in a matrix, and we can use all of our matrix operations on it. Okay, there's storing information, whether it's binary, whether it's um, more complex data, we can store it in a matrix. The last thing I'll say here that even though I've put these nice little uh, labels on these rows and columns. When we start doing matrix addition, subtraction, multiplication, we're not going to keep those labels there. We're going to move it into its matrix form and work with it. 